Night Train Lane. Surprise, surprise, Deion Sanders. Yeah, they will round out the secondary. You'll see Dion patrol the, the slot area to put pressure on the quarterback. And then, of course, Chad Johnson, Randy Moss at the receiver positions. They have playmakers. So that means he can virtually control them on the field with Donovan McNabb, send him on routes wherever he wants. And McNabb, of course, has that mobility to stretch defenses. Undefeated in the group stage, undefeated all together, including a win over Young Kiv. And on the other side, there he is, the man from nearby, ranked number five. It's Eric Problem right here again. I'm going to call him Coach Problem in that luminosity hat. That thing is just straight fire. You call that just a coach cap, dad hat, whatever you want to call it. But got to love the hat that he's representing there. He's also spitting some fire here. He's locked and loaded. And the way he played against Volderex, that preparation, we've never seen anybody uh, handle that wide receiver swerve we saw from, uh, from Volt yesterday. I'm really impressed with Problem coming in this match. Yeah, I was saying he was playing the best he's played in a couple years. Not just that game. Overall, Jalen Ramsey... Deion Sanders is what makes it go on his defense. If you like hard-hitting defense, problem is your guy. <laughs> Joke not bad either, but Jalen Ramsey is a guy to watch out for in the flat. Of course, Chad Johnson, Randy Moss at the receiving position, and then Aaron Rodgers for his quarterback makes every throw on the field, has that conductor trait as well, which allows him to make multiple hot routes on every single play. He's got the number one scoring defense, only allowing 10 points a game. Let's take a look at our scouting report brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. If you're joke, you got one job, one mission, Mission Impossible, okay? <laughs> Don't test problems, user. It Don't is do a it. nightmare. You saw Joke, or uh, you saw Volderex yesterday get picked off four times. That's why he falls to problem. You have to throw away from problems, user. He's the best in the business at his user control and defense. Well, on the other side, what does problem got to do against Joke? His MO over the course of his career has been defense and clock management, run the ball. If Problem can win the time of possession battle in this game, without a doubt, he will walk away heading into the finals against Skimbo. Well, Problem beat Volterax to get here. Noble Joke beat Bugs by a field goal, 20 to 17. And Joke will get the ball first. Not a huge football fan, but a big time gamer. One of the biggest gamers we have in the field of 32. He likes those Vikings uniforms because he just says they look cool. They don't look too bad out there, but Joke's also one of those guys. He has been around in the competitive scene yeah. for a very long time, so this is a familiar position for Not him. Not new to Madden. 90% of the time he won games to get to the Madden Championship Series. And of course, Problem, a huge 49ers fan, and he's going to be rocking the red and gold. Six-yard gain on the first play by Tony Dorsett. Yeah, and Problem. Preparing for this game last night rather than get in the lab himself. He actually had his his movement the move the problem movement Help him lab so guys like Drinny they were out there preparing for problem getting him ready for this game Flying in defense for him to get ready to match up against what he's gonna see from joke the opposite side Joke spent all night He actually put a tweet out last night showing what he was doing. He was in the film room preparing for problem Well, here's a third and two early in this one High formation, two tight ends. Dorsett gets blown up by Jalen Ramsey. Right out the gate, we see one of those top five picks on Problem's roster, Jalen Ramsey, that short flat, comes in and absolutely baptizes Tony Dorsett in the backfield. That's the thing about salary cap. They're basically their own GMs. Build your team, stay under the cap, and rock it out. And these two guys have done a masterful job at compiling their roster. Quick throw on fourth and two, and Tony D picks up the first. That's a great read right there by Joke. He had a blitzing corner off that right edge. Joke runs a short table pattern to the flat. That's an easy first down for him. I have to watch see if Problem keeps blitzing that corner. Bunch to the right here on first and 10. He'll audible out and go to the run. Dorsett cuts it back against the grain, and he'll pick up five. They'll spot it. Right dab at midfield. Yeah, and on the opposite side, you could almost count another key to the game for Joe, because if he wins the time of possession battle, that's going to be something that is ginormous for him in this matchup. Give him problem a taste of his own medicine here in the first two minutes of this one. McNabb, and that is a pick. Downfield, and problem's got some room, and he runs out of bounds at the 37. It's just a critical error. You see he rolls out, barely sets his feet, chucks the beam downfield, Reed gets the interception. 
These are things that you cannot do against problem. You cannot turn the ball over to him. You cannot give him free possessions. And already in the first few minutes of this game, Joke making the first big mistake. This game's for 35,000. Lock up. Is that a lot? <laughs> yeah. I wish I could play a game you like think? that right now. First and 10. Come on, Gibbs, you're bad. Let's move on. <laughs> Terror bad. Hands it to Procise. He's been big for him in this championship, but only gains one there. Yeah, Procise has played a pivotal role in his offense. Problem runs the ball as the focal point of what he wants to do from his offensive game plan. Procise a big part of that. You also see Procise leak out of the backfield every now and then on deep wheels to get downfield. Play action on second and nine. Has time. Throws it deep. Ramsey's on the coverage. And problem looking for the deep play there. Says good D. Yeah. Jalen Ramsey got on his horse. Joke went and covered that user pattern over near the left sideline. Problem really had nothing left. He just chucked it downfield, hoping Moss can make a play. Third and nine at the 38. Much for a quick scene. And just overthrew him. You called the route, but he couldn't make the pass. Fourth and nine. Yeah, the scout is when you see problem, use that motion to the tight end. I want everyone to pay attention to that. When he uses motion from that formation, a lot of times he likes to streak the tight end, get a little boost at the snap of the ball. Well, buckle up, folks. He's going for it on fourth and nine. Watch it one more time again, right in that scene. Bang. Of course, Harris is no Jimmy Graham. He's no Antonio Gates. Keeps him in the block this time. And this is going to be, doesn't matter. Wasn't picked off, but it's a turnover on downs. Good defense from Joke. He locked up all the intermediate routes, and he hung with the deep crossing pattern. Problem didn't run a vertical clear over the middle of the field. That's where that crossing pattern didn't have space to open up. And Tony D gets absolutely blown up like a man smoking at a gas station. And now if you're Joke, you can kind of sigh of relief there. Your first mistake didn't cost you, right? You can get back into the flow of this game now. There's some heat, and Problem dials it up. Third and 17 and coming. You're gonna get pressure off this right edge. Screams over here. No receivers open. That's where you get the sack. Pressure off edges is how these competitive players like to play. He's got that gunslinger McNabb and still unable to get rid of it. This will make it manageable as he finds Ladarius screen for a gain of 11. Fourth and six. 51 yarder from there. And he's going to try to kick it through with Jordan Gay. Oh, boy. He's going to get Oh, down. boy. And it is up, and it is. It hit the crossbar and leaks in. Almost a shorty right there. But listen, how big of a third down conversion was that play on that third and 17? He, rather than if go he for got Gusto. 10, If he got 10, he would have missed that field goal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Take a look at it again. Hits the crossbar, Gibbs. And doink. Just enough juice to get mm. over. Cleared it. My mom was telling me maybe I need to go get glasses. You call her today? I did. All right. Of course you did. Got to break. Got to. Got to pay homage. I also noticed you got the nice pink highlighter. I do. All right. Around the pink respect. highlighter. Thinking about mom all weekend. Happy Mother's Day, Shirley. That's my mom. That's your mom, yeah. If she's watching. Yeah, you're not giving shout outs to my mom. <laughs> I'm close enough to put hands on you. Second and nine. Rogers. Gets rid of it. Yeah, and this has been the oh, staple. For four. This is, I mean, this has been the staple of what we've seen from Joke is he's been winning games with his defense. If you remember that game against Monster, how amazing he played there to get that win. Second and nine, uh, third and nine for the 25, and we got a flag on the field. And yeah, he's taking that. <laughs> yeah, you take these penalties in this game. $35,000 game, you better believe it. Only Strafen can get the other guy not to take it. I, I might need to go into a gift he has. different profession. Think about being a lawyer. Quite persuasive. Wow. And that's a first down as Rogers slides down. 
And you can see when you play zone defense, your, your defenders have a tendency to drift away from the line of scrimmage. Problem just skirts out that left edge right there real quick. And that's a nice find to C.J. Fosice. And he's going to be marked down to the 49-yard line. First completion of the game for Problem. Uh, we're going to show a quick pr a tip here that, of what Problem's doing with his tight end. He's using motion from left to right with his tight end. When he motions him left, he likes to streak him up the seam. When he motions him and snaps it quick, he's looking for extra pass protection on the right edge. Watch it. You'll see it every now and then from him. If a, a motion to tight end inside, and then he snaps it really quick for extra blocking. This time he runs it toward that tight end. And he won't gain anything. Second and 10 from just shy of the 50. This he might take this to the second quarter here. Yeah, th this is certainly feels like one of those drives that you see Problem go on, right? This has a lot of that feeling of when Problem played that last elimination game against Drag to get out of the, the final 32 group stage, where he had the ball right around this part of the field in the first quarter. He milks the entire clock down to one minute, 57 seconds, punches a touchdown in. He wasted about six minutes on that drive. So Joku used a timeout right before the clock expires at the end of the first. Winner plays the number one seed, Skimbo, who had a 14-point victory over Spot Me Please in our first semifinal. Make sure you join us at 9 p.m. tonight, Eastern. NFL Network, maybe you've heard of it. Might have heard of it. Big time game coming up. And that, that time out there by Joke, you know, it's, I think he's already thinking time of possession battle, right? He doesn't want Problem to get two extra snaps in the second quarter, run off an additional minute, right? So Problem has to convert here. He does. Kill him. But you're already seeing the mind game back and forth in the clock management issue that Problem usually represents for people affecting the way Joke is making his play calls. You know, Joke had a lot of success against Boogs with a hit stick. Got to be careful if your problem when you break through that second level with Procise. Procise has the ability to get into the next level and, and take runs uh, deep into the secondary. One thing to also note, when problem audibles down into that single back under center formation, the tight set, usually think run if you're watching at home. Rogers Picks up the pressure again. This is has time. And a big time one-handed so grab over the top so of Pinkins. I'm, I'm telling you. We're seeing some adjustments from Problem that are just next level. This little baby motion he's using to the tight end is picking up this nickel blitz like I haven't really seen all season long. So great job right now for Problem with his adjustments in this game. That was 94 overall Julio Jan Jones making a great grab over the 61 overall Eric Pinkins. And back to Procise. And he will fight to the 12-yard line, second and nine. Yeah, there's that run again when you get that under center formation. A couple other things you have to watch out for when he gets into that set. He loves throwing corner patterns in the back of the end zone when he's under center there. But let's key in again. This tight end, this is the pivotal part of his whole offense. See the motion. Now you see streak, bang, right up the middle of the field here with a crosser underneath. Doesn't have time to high point into the back of the end zone. That's Deion Sanders. Came with the heat. Yeah, and Joke ready for it that time, right? So Joke runs with that deep streak. Good pressure off the edge. He doesn't have the ability to pick up the pressure off the edge. That's where you see the incomplete pass. Third and nine. 327 left in the half. Problem trailing by a field goal. And Dion all of a sudden's having a field day. So here's what we're seeing now. Problem has not been able to pick up the blitz off that right edge unless he keeps the tight end on that side into block and uses that little motion. He now has tried on two straight possessions there on that second down where he tried to keep the, uh, the, the tight end, no tight end in the block. Pressure came off the edge. On third down, he keeps the halfback in the block. Pressure still comes in. So the, looks like the only way he'll be able to pick that pressure up is if he keeps the tight end with the motion. But you also take away a route for him to run downfield. Jokes had some success. Beat Young Kiv by three in overtime. Then beat Boogs by three in the quarterfinals. That's how he got here to face problem. On the running room in the middle. We're tied up at three as Dorsett takes it to the 33. Yeah, and that set up there, you had a slot defender in the left edge, another linebacker out the left edge. So problem really opening up the interior of the field. This time he keeps both linebackers in the interior of the field for run support. Bunch to the right. 
throws it off his back foot as the floodgates had opened on the defensive line. There was a block shed like I have never seen <laughs> before. You had a, you knew at the game at home watching to so where a defender will disengage with an offensive lineman and get into the backfield. If you're new to the game, it's only been out 28 years. <laughs> so where have you been? Tony Dorsett will shake a tackle, but will not get away from Eric Reed, who's played huge, has an intercepted, and there is a tackle for loss. That is the second third down play that Joke has run in a short yard situation where he tries to run. Problem has locked him up, got him in now the second fourth down. Joke converted on the last one. 2.23 to go in the half. 3-3 three, three game. And there is Jerry Rice. He'll take it to the 41. Same play, same defensive play from Problem, same offensive play from Joke on that, where he converted earlier in the first half on that fourth down. Problem tried to jump that flat route to the halfback, covered it, left the underneath drag open. So these two guys are going back and forth at each other with their adjustments. It's beautiful, beautiful. When I heard about the GOAT edition of Madden, I was like, oh, cool, Jerry Rice is on the cover. <laughs> You're throwing shade at Tommy now, huh? I'll have to talk to RG about that. <laughs> Tony Dorsett. Go nowhere here. Second and 10. Clock moving. 150 to go in the half. You've really yet to see Joe go to this gun tight flex, try to attack downfield. He wants to get off the edge down there with a deep route. And McNabb, he'll find Ocho Cinco. And Chad Johnson will take it to the Quattro Zero. It's a very tough formation for any defense to match up against. All these deep patterns on the field, plus all the short routes that you can dick and dunk as well. I'd like to see Joe stay in that set and really stress problems defense. See si Habla Espanol? Uh, Puedo ir al baño. <laughs> si. Three to three. And Joke is on a drive. And there is Ladarius Green once again, this time to the 28. Never get a between of what we started. Those folks watching at home, he's actually listening to music. He's he's not just freestyling <laughs> up there. Throw outside. That's Ocho. Can't get his feet in bounds. Second and 10, 90 seconds to go in the second quarter. Forcing the issue, trying to hit the, the short flat to open up the deep route on the deep right sideline. McNabb, nice playmaker. And there is Jerry Rice. He'll take it down to the five yard line. A great drive right now by Joke. You can see all those short passes to that flat starting to open up that deep route, which problem then had to go user, leaves that playmaker, Jerry Rice, underneath for an easy conversion now ball at the five. That's for Moss here, maybe, on the pass, if it's a pass. Moss to the left, double tight end. They go to Dorsett, and Tony D will walk in for the TD. Great execution from Joke on that drive. Did it with through the air. Did it with a couple deep passes. Attacked the short flat. Really stressed problem. And most importantly, he did not test problems. <laughs> User. That is the key. Take a look at it again. Right up the gut with Tony Dorsett. He did that a few times against the 49ers back in the day wreak havoc, not just on the Niners. <laughs> Holy, of course, I don't remember that, but. It's called YouTube, man, youtube.com. Check it out. <laughs> I've heard of YouTube. <laughs> I've been there once or twice. Hey, we got a lot of folks out there watching on YouTube right now. We do. Facebook, Twitch, big shout out to those folks tuning in. Semi-final number two, Skimbo's already won. He's in the finals. Will it be joke or problem? Picks up the pressure. Joke's on it, left it, he left it. To the sideline, tries to tiptoe, and they will say he got his feet in bounds. Boy, that was close. That was an error by Joke. You can see he tails off the user to go down the deep post over the middle of the field, and he, he leaves that deep sideline route. I think he thought his defenders were gonna be in the area to defend against it. 
Andy Moss dragging those toes. He'll take it to the 42. 60 seconds to go. He still has two timeouts. And if you're wondering why some think he's the greatest of all time, it's been these situations. There's that motion again with the tight end. Picks up the blitz. Playmakers to the sideline. And that is a user pick by Night Train Lane. You see Problem scrambles out the edge. He sets his feet, but he sails the ball. That's a user pick. He clicked on. Keep the feet in bounds, kid. Earned it. So now Joke has an opportunity. Got to be careful, though. McNabb pushed out of bounds at the 15. Now Still plenty of time. He's got two timeouts. Yeah, if you're Joke, where you're looking right now, your eyes are over on this deep part of the field. You want all that deep space. That's where your routes are set up. Play action. Has time and has Moss out at the 30-yard line, and he'll use his second timeout, one remaining. The next thing he'll do out of this, right? He'll now run a vertical stem out of this to try and open up a deep crosser off the left edge. This is a very difficult offense to set up. So first and 10, when he's had time, he's made problem pay. McNabb overthrows, had him open. And the former Syracuse Orangeman, Donna McNabb, not getting crispy. The story of this one is a couple overthrows. Yeah. Both, both quarterbacks, and you don't expect that with uh, McNabb and Rodgers. Play action once again. Good blitz. And just throws it away. Nice awareness as the heat was coming down on Joe. Now you need to be careful here. Problem. He's got two timeouts. There's 28 seconds to go. It's third and ten. If you don't convert, you're going to give Problem a chance to get the ball back one timeout around 25 seconds. McNabb. There's that route to Randy. Oh, that's Jerry Rice. And he'll step out of bounds at the 47. So with one timeout, he's get at least three on his mind, maybe seven. With one timeout, he's got to get down to about the 35 to feel great. And a field goal. And just got that one out of his hands before Dion hit McNabb. And these are usually the moments where Problem steps up, makes a big play. See if he keys in on any specific routes that Joke might be running here. Watch this sideline right here. Right out down there, right? That's where you want to watch out if you're Problem. This is where you got to take a shot. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up. And Joke takes a timeout. Problem gets to hang on to his timeout. Pressure screams off this edge right here after the quarterback. No one open. And very fortunate that he's able to pick that up because Problem would have two timeouts, ball in field goal range. So a white glove moment coming up. Got to be careful with this one. Third and 16. Problem needs to gas up here. Goes with the delay. And Dorsett will take it to the 50. And Problem will not use that timeout. Yeah, Problem's going to be okay going into half. Going into half with the way the game is. You know, I think he understands that he was that one drive away where he throws that interception. And the read was there. The receiver was there. He was open. He just sailed the ball a little bit. And that's where he gets the interception. So he's within striking distance. All he needs to do is always keep it a one possession game. And he's always got the ability to get back into it. Problem came in with the number one scoring defense in the entire field. Only giving up 10 points a game. Jokes already got 10. Problem trailing by a touchdown. Let's go to Dave and the guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Solid first half here. I know Joke is up. He is playing really, really well. How do you well. know Joke is up? I've been watching this first half. Well, you know because Little Man is actually making some noise <laughs> at a Madden tournament for once. That's right. Ooh, literally making some noise at a Madden tournament. Even though Joke is winning, I still feel like Problem might have him where he wants him. Rico, what do you see? With all due respect, I could not disagree with you more. <laughs> Right now, Love Joke that. is in control of this game on both sides of the ball. If he, wouldn't, if he could have scored at, at that last drive, this game could have been out of reach. He seems to be all over problems reads. He's making him go places where he doesn't really want to, and ProSize still has not fumbled yet. We know it's coming one of these drives. We're just waiting for it to happen. You know what else hasn't happened is a fumble for Joke. Problem's been getting a lot of hit sticks mm -hmm. on defense. You'll see in the highlights coming up offensively, 
he has been in a box for the most part. He started with a huge turnover. This is textbook problem. Doing it with your defense, getting the ball. Couldn't turn it into points. Joke. Breeze is one through on, on the field goal. Very, very close right there. And then problem gets the field goal, but just unable to really get anything going on offense. Looks tight out there. This was just an overthrow. It happens on the sideline. And Joke got a good animation there. He's playing amazing defense in this entire event. It's been really, really spectacular to watch his defense offensively for Joke. I don't know if he's going to be able to separate this one. So I think the second half is going to be very, very close in this one. A lot of defense, a lot of ball control in the second half. Let's take a look at our bracket. You see it there. One more slot to fill. They are going to play Michael Skimbo in the final. Joke and problem in a tight one right now. Now, this Madden Championship is the fourth major in this year's Madden Championship series. The first three majors won by three different guys. Let's hear from them about what it means to take home a belt. Being a Madden champion is special. There's not many people in the world that can say they're the best in the world or something. So anytime you can say that, then you feel pretty good about yourself. After I won the Madden Challenge, I held up the belt, and it was the greatest experience of my life. There was no other feeling like it. Obviously, Madden Bowl was my favorite event. I was able to win the whole tournament. It was such a great experience going all over the country, from Orlando and then to the Super Bowl in Houston. All the people who were there for the Super Bowl wound up watching Madden. Then I had two games that came down to the wire, one against Skimbo, who's one of the best players in the world, and of course, the last game was against Problem, the greatest Madden player ever. And the way that game ended was just ecstatic and emotionally overload for myself. It really meant the world to me. The Madden Classic obviously sticks out to me because it's my one and only major championship. Holding up the belt, it was a great moment for me. The money that was on the line, you put in a lot of effort to get to that point, and to come through with the championship like that is pretty special, and it means a lot for me. I'm here to stay, I'm not going anywhere, and I plan on being at the top of the Madden scene for quite some time. I haven't put my belt up in my house yet, but when I do, it's going to be the first thing I look at when I come through the front door. The experience this year at Madden 17 fuels me to be the best in Madden 18. I don't think there's anything that's going to hold me back from being one of the top players again next year. I always feel like with anything in life, you get what you put into it. You know, So if you're going to put the time and effort, which I always do in Madden, if you want to put that much effort and dedicate yourself to it, you're going to excel. And that's what absolutely I plan on doing in Madden 18. Very cool. There will be a fourth champion joining those guys tonight. I want to remind everybody at home that you don't have to miss out. You can catch up on all the highlights from the Madden Championship on YouTube.com slash EA Sports. Speaking of tonight, it is going to be on the NFL Network. It is the Madden Championship Final, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Right now, Drea is with Joke. Thanks so much, Dave. Joke, seven-point lead over the greatest Madden player of all time. What do you think of the way you've been able to execute so far? I think uh, I played amazing defense. I want to give a big shout out to Duke for helping me game plan for him. I just got to keep playing good defense. I think if I keep playing defense the way I am, I'll finish this game with a W. So what's the key offensively as far as just keeping your drives and executing the way you've been doing in the second half? Offensively, I just got to take my short route so they can open up the, the long passes and keep running. All right, we'll joke best of luck in the second half. Thank you so much. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thanks, Drea. Second half coming up, problem trailing by seven. But he's been in this situation hundreds of times. It's within striking distance, right where <laughs> it needs to be, within one score here. That's the name of his game. Keep it close. Make a big play in the second half. That's how he usually wins ball games. And if you're joke, you force the issue. You get some turnovers from problem, and that's a good thing. You got to protect the ball though in the second half. You cannot have another turnover. Good news for problem. He's going to start this half with the ball, and boy, if joke can stand up here. Make it a two possession game. Problem doesn't have the most powerful offense. I mean, really will put the pressure on Problem in the second half. If he goes up two scores, that's something that Problem wants to avoid at all costs. So here we go. You heard the joke supporters say one more half. That's all he needs. Pistol formation coming out of the locker room for Problem. And he goes to CJ Procise. Little stutter step, and he'll move the sticks. Good way to start the half right there. Quick first down, run the ball. That's the staple what he does. Every time he goes to this set, a lot of strong powers. You can run off the left edge or the right edge and get a lot of blocking. I'll run off that left edge, though. CJ will get bottled up. Second and 10. You have to really see problem get into the rhythm flow of a, of a passing offense in this one. 
And here you can now you see comes back out in this gun formation, try and get his offense going with, through the air. One stat I highlighted with my trusty pink highlighter was Joke is number one on defense against the run. Missed opportunity right there for problem. He had a wide open streaking receiver. He throws a pass that looks like that led him down to the right sideline. He needed to pass it inside. Great pass distribution and run distribution. Both these players very balanced. They're over the wrong shoulder there, third and ten. Nice find out of the backfield. CJ was stumbling and somehow caught that football. A quick little pass to the halfback out of the backfield. Throwing shades uh, Madden from yesteryear right there. All those quick passes to your halfback. Problem. Nice little play there to get a first. This usually means run. And he'll hand it off to Procise once again. And that's Aaron Donald. Right there to hold him to a gain of one. And then that first down you saw Joke, his play call was a cover zero, so he's recognized when problem goes that set, he wants to run the ball. There's a man open, it's Randy Moss down to the 21, knocking on the door of the red zone. And problem gives an inside pass lead this time, opposed to the previous deep pass down the middle of the field. Matt 17, you can lead your receiver with the pass inside, outside, low, high. This time, problem converts on a big play. So first and 10 from the 21, trying to tie this thing up in the third. Defender fell down, and he couldn't connect. That was almost a detrimental user error by Joe. Yeah, he rolls out of the pocket to the left edge here. It looks like he's going to throw it away, but he sees RB <laughs> get into that left sideline. Just misses him, though. Good play. Up the Come seam, on, and Harris can't pull one. it in. Give me one. He keeps trying you. Come on, Harrison Smith. One. Just give me one. And Joke asking for Harrison Smith to stand up for himself, get an interception. I like Joke moving Harrison Smith inside there. Throws it to the outside then, and there go is Harris. Go for it. Go for it. Fourth and two. Come on, go for it. Tough spot right here. Cool boy. He thought about going for it. He went deep into the playbook for a second. You gotta remember, you're gonna need three Come points on, anyway. Smith. This is this is problem. This is problem football, right? This is not skimbo ball, right? He's not going out chucking the pill all over the field. He's gonna win this game, try to win this game. Smart play, clock management, kicking field goals, make a big defensive play. Come on. You hear him say D up there. So here we go. Four-point lead. For noble joke over problem. 230 to go in the quarter. First possession of the second half for joke. Big defensive possession here for problem. You know, the more and more I start to break down these stats, it's a good matchup for joke. It's just Great run defense against a great run offensive problem, and Joke has been successful. And there is Tony Dorsett. He has been huge in this offense for Joke. Yeah, no answer for problem on that play. He's anticipating a lot of different crossing patterns on that play. You never really anticipate the halfback out of the backfield there. So now both players utilizing that halfback as a passing option out of the backfield. Go trips to the left here on first and ten. Watch for a quick scene pass right here in the middle of the field to Moss. McNabb rolls away from the pressure and he'll just throw it away. And that vertical route did get open, but the quick pressure off that left edge forces Joke to scramble right, miss the read, and he's got to throw it away. See the focus on Joke with a four-point lead. It's second and ten. And he just throws that one out there. I tell you what, that's what that gunslinger trait does for Donovan McNabb. Gets it out quickly. Pressure barrels in on McNabb. He just trusts the process, trusts the throw right there. He's thrown that a million times. That's why he can throw it there. Sneaking in between the safeties. A lot of running room in the middle. So ball in the 36 now. A lot of running room. Hands it off the door set. 
And he's actually going to lose two yards. I'm telling you, even a field goal here is critical for Joe. Needs to continue to put pressure on Problem and force Problem to get touchdowns, which are very tough to come by right now for his offense as well as going against Joke's defense. Second and 12. Another seam streak to Green right at the middle. McNabb it has Randy Moss and he dropped it. He doesn't have to get lucky on every play. Come on. It's a quick pass off that left sideline, gets behind the cover two defense. Doesn't have to get lucky on every play. And Moss catching traffic, he drops the ball there. Watch for a crossing pattern on the outside, watch for corners. Quick throw to the outside, that's Ocho Cinco, picks up the first down and more. Big time stiff arm, steps out of bounds at the 15. That corner blitz so far in this game has not been working for problem. I think he needs to abandon it right now. Every time he runs it, Joe hits the short flat for a big play. And now problem's got to be thinking, I got to hold him to three. Don't the most importance. Test the user. That's what she said. This is not the time. This to is test. not the time to test the user. Now throws it to the end zone. To Darius Green. Let's go. One stop. It's Goes over. for six. And the cover two seam buster right in the middle of the field there. Problem didn't even drop back to it. Stayed underneath. And now the pressure's on. One stop. Come on. One stop. Come on, Harris. Take a look right here. Problem's user underneath. He bails actually to the corner to the right. Leaves that deep vertical in the middle of the field wide open. And little man getting big. Chirping in the crowd for pro, uh, for joke. It's nonstop. Oh. And there is a move. Problem. said about Joe. He can't move the ball. His emotions sometimes get the best of him. He cannot move the ball. You can hear him talking. He's playing with a lead and he's feeling great. And now we're gonna go for two. Two point to make it a field goal game. And that erupted the crowd here in Burbank. And he'll hold on. We got a field goal game, my friend. Joke is about to lose it. All right, I, I, I mean, are you, are you hearing him right now? That is prime time. Sticky. See ya. Sticky. Bye, Felicia. And, and Joke needs to deep breath, sit back in your seat, relax, and keep playing the way how you got here because just like that, you're on top of the world. You're asking for one stop, and then problem does what problem does. He manufactures points. These guys are playing for 35 grand right now with a chance to play for 100,000. Really wanted that one. It's a big part of this game right here. Momentum has been shifting in the last few plays. And there is Rice to the 32. And we're going to the fourth quarter. Certainly feels as though, even though Joke has the lead right now, he seems to be the one that's stressed out in this situation. Problem seems to be the one that's amped up, excited, ready to go, ready to make a big play. Third and three. Ball at the 32, here comes McNabb. And Jerry Rice is right at the marker. And that is a first down joke. Great conversion, gives himself a couple underneath options. Quick in where he got the conversion, quick out was also available. So nice and short underneath options there from Joke. I could go for some quick in and out. I'll tell you what. I'll we'll talk about it now, <laughs> I, got a whole, I got a whole theory on that. I loved in and out and then I went and had it recently, and I'm, I'm dropping my stock. Over it. 4.30 to go. Also, Dodger Dogs. Oh, boy. I'd like to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs> Fenway Frank's kid. Second and seven. Ball at the 38. McNabb. Oh. Hit as he threw. And here we go. Big third down in a three-point game with 4.17. Left in semifinal number two. 
Winner will face number one Skimbo in the finals at 9 o'clock Eastern on the NFL Network. You can't force throws. He wants to try and go to a vertical stem, maybe a backside inside out. Quick pop pass to Darius Green, who's played like an absolute monster for joke in this one. Problem needs to take that away. He's given it to him all game long, and for good reason. He eventually takes it away. The question is when. A lot of times players fall for the trap. He will give you that all game, and then he takes it away at the end. There's a screaming blitz, and that went through the hands of Kendricks. And, and Jerry Rice and hauls he's it smirking. in. He's smirking. He, he knows. He had the defender Woo! right there. Right there. And, and this is where he starts to clamp down there. But Joke, better offense at this point right now. How big is a touchdown for Joke? Almost pivotal that he gets a touchdown here. Swings it outside to Green. And Green carries it down to the 23-yard line. Gain of five. Second and five. Clock on the move. Start paying attention to that clock. 3.15 remaining. You know, problems thinking here, hey, I hold him to a field goal, and I, I can make a bread drive and win this thing by one. Win 35 additional K. It's not bad. Second and five of the 23. Goes to Dorsett. And Dorsett will take it to the house. Make him earn it. The dagger. He can't score. Great play call by Joke. I like the decision there. Make him earn it, Madden. Make him earn it. The run keeps the clock moving. You get a first down. You get a touchdown untouched. It's all gravy at that point for Joke. So great play call there with the halfback draw. Problem came in with the third rushing defense and the field of 32 but Tony D has gashed him a few times. Make him earn it, let's go. Make him earn it. 251 away from the number 24 seed joke being in the final. What? Winning 90% of his games to get to this point though. So let's remember the most, the highest win percentage of the whole field. Quick throw to Procise. And he'll take it to the 39. We talked about no Cinderella's, but Maybe one's forming. Quick first down, and here he goes again. Throws across his body to Procise, and nice spin move. Can he get a block? What are you doing, Julio? Block somebody. Wow. Stick work right there. Looks like True Boy out there with that spin move. Julio. <laughs> And then he gets out of bounds, though, to yep. save time. Yep. Smart play. And they'll throw it to Julio Jones, and he tries to make up for it. Needs a quick score before the two. That's an extra timeout if he can get a quick score. Watch a quick pop pass right here. We see it very often, back of the end zone. And Joke's got to call timeout. He, Eubanks was actually offsides. And so he'll use a timeout with 2.14 to go. And that is an awful timeout to use because now you can definitely have two or three shots at the end zone if you want it. He'll hand out the pro size, and he gets caught up on his lineman. Gotta and he up. will go quick. He'll try to get one play in here, Gibbs. Got to get this off before the two-minute warning. Needs to be a good play, though. Can't waste a play. He goes back to the delay. And that's what I don't like. You, you go to a... I, I'm fine with going quick, but you got to make that play count. Yeah, the, the, the important thing to note here, though, a field goal still keeps it one possession, so That's right. it's still okay. Can't turn it over here then. He had a man wide open, and he finds him. We're about to have a field goal game. And it's down Main Street. And I'll tell you what, it's mom spaghetti time for problem. This is it, this is your chance. Your one opportunity or you gotta stand up on defense. Got to get one stop. Well, he's going to go onside on for the side boys. Here. On the other side. thing is, if he doesn't get it, he makes it a short field. Correct. And it's picked up by Jerry Rice. And so you make it a short field here. So oh, come on. even if he gets a big play, perhaps he doesn't have a long enough field to take away the entire clock. 
Yeah, that's the, that is absolutely the thinking in this situation. Give him a short field, try and get the onside recovery. Can't give up a big run. He's struggled with stopping door set today. And Tony gets it again. Wow. There is Kendricks. Hello. And right now for Junk, you're looking at a 58-yard field goal with the ball being at the 41-yard line. Problem, two timeouts can stop the clock two more times in this situation. Right here, you can see ball in the 41. I think he's thinking anything but a first down or a touchdown, and he's gonna have a chance. Gotta watch this problem. Joke has gotta get clutch here. Second and nine, there's the blitz. Boy, the sack would have been huge, but the clock does stop, third and nine. The user on that play by problem, he faked to guard the vertical stem, went to the corner, Joke missed the read, the vertical route was wide open. <clears throat> See it one more time from Joke. The vertical route is open over the middle of the field. It's been there all game. Also, this route, the post to Moss. Third and nine in the biggest game of his career. And he takes a big hit at the 37. What his kicker is Jordan Gay, who's a 65 overall. That is called tanking it. No, sir. Oh, yeah, he's going to let her rip. Can't go offside if you're problem. You can't. Be very careful about trying to block the kick. It is up. This is to make it a... Wow. All right. Never mind. Uh, now it's it through. Spaghetti time. Yes. This is officially Mom Spaghetti Time, the first time of the Madden Championship Series. One timeout. He had a similar situation against Sirius Mo. And there goes Dion. Dion is off to the races. Oh, and problem ties the game. This place. is going nuts. It, everyone is out of their seat. There's a guy in a Ben Roethlisberger excited for a Niner fan. Are you kidding me? This is a huge extra point after two kickoff returns in the second half. Take a look at it again. Deion Sanders comes through again. See ya. I, I, I mean, he just makes these plays. He manufactures points. When you think he has nothing, he finds ways to score. Well, it's yeah. unbelievable. So nice, we gotta show it twice. Now you're gonna lock up on D though. All right, you had the big kick return, but now you're gonna lock up on D. A field goal wins this game for Joke. He's got one timeout, buck 28 for his own championship drive for Joke. First and 10, McNabb can't turn it over. That's As great time user. is going to take off on the scramble, and he will lose a yard, second and 11, but he does stop the clock. Problem just used three routes on one play there, a playmaker <laughs> as well as a deep cross. Great play. Second and 11. Are you not entertained? Pressure. And the throw to the side, and Moss almost gave it away. And Boogs can't even believe it. You see Boogs in the crowd there scratching his face. <laughs> Third and 11. Throws the wheel around, and he drops it. Here comes fourth in the game. Once again, phenomenal user play by Eric Problem Wright. He guards the vertical stem up the middle of the field, breaks down, gets there just in time to get the catch in traffic. Break tackle right there. Unbelievable user. That's two on this play. Here it is. Fourth and 11. Joke has converted on both of his fourth down conversions. He needs it here. Fourth and the game. Joke's made big plays all game, though. He's going to burn his final timeout. As you said, two for two. Okay, what has Joke been doing all game long? Those vertical stems up the middle of the field have been huge for him. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Fourth and 11. McNabb. Great there move. is the throw. It's tipped up and intercepted by Problem. And Problem can knee it out. Are you kidding me, Gibbs? That is why we call him the greatest of all time. If you do not believe that he is the greatest of all time, and you do not have goosebumps in the back of your head right now? 
He got two quick oh, reaches. Oh, Shut the fuck up. Kick it out of there. And God, just a strange. Unbelievable way the angels, man. to oh, end the man. game. Frustration settling in, and the heat, and you throw it to Ladarius Green, and Jalen Ramsey says, thank you. And now you, you hear Joe talking about some of the issues that had gone on in the game. But He's the mayor of Mumbleville right now. But problem, just the composure. What do we always say, what, what makes a champion? Wow. Shaking hands, they'll run out the clock. And problem will get a one point victory. It's problem and skimbo in the finals. <laughs> I, 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 for the first time ever, I am speechless. My mom would be very Woo! happy about that, I would say. But that that's just it's just so problem. That's so problem. Right? That's textbook. That's how he wins games. He gets two kick returns to put points up on the board. He's able to get the stops it in the game. The user plays he had on that last drive, the first down play, was one of the best user plays I've seen all season. He guards three routes with one defender. You, you can't do that. Wow. Let's go down the field with Drea. Thanks so much, Scott. Problem, congratulations, an epic return, epic pick. Talk to me about just the ice in your veins there. All right, some people are built, some ain't. I'm built. That's it. Built for this. Well, did you ever think you were out of it? No, I never think I'm out of it till mm -hmm. zero's on the clock. Mm -hmm. Dion with two returns. I probably haven't had two returns in the last 100 games, and I had two in one game. Right. You got to get it how you get it. What do you want to say about Joke? He really brought a lot of fire and intensity. He was playing very well. Epic competitor there. Yeah, best defense I played, you know, in the tournament. He played really good against me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, second best. Actually, Mo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Serious, Mo? Yeah. yeah. Shout out, Mo. <laughs> yeah, I can't one-up Mo, yeah, so. And he played good. He played a good game, and he was up mm -hmm. most of the game, so, Absolutely. I mean, you know. But you came out on top, and now you're headed to the finals against Skimbo. What are your thoughts on that matchup? It's a heavyweight battle. No, I heard him say that if there's one person here that can't beat him, it's me, so we're going to see you tonight. Absolutely. Everybody's going to be watching. Best of luck. We're going to see you tonight. We're going to see you tonight. Yeah. Let's send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Drea. Problem coming in.